You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife. She offered herself for money. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Prostitution is referred to as the world's oldest profession. The selling of oneself to provide sexual gratification to another individual has been going on since time immemorial. In some places, it's legal to do so. In others, it's unlawful. The fact is, it goes on around the world. And, of course, there are different types of prostitution that can take place. This one's wife has long been dogged by the suggestion that she was part of the Yacht Girl fraternity, whereby, as a consequence of being paid large sums of money, she made herself available to attend to the needs of various gentlemen on yachts, which included the provision of sexual activity. There have, of course, been pictures of this one's wife on yachts. There have been suggestions of spurious relationships with certain males, but there has been no smoking gun in that regard to definitively prove that she was a yacht girl. There has now been a suggestion that she has been engaging in such activity, this time in relation to the world of ice hockey. Now, as you know, this one's wife is a narcissist, and she's a somatic narcissist at that, meaning that matters of the appearance, material issues, and sex are important to her. We all know that she used lashings of spicy poontang as the major modus operandi to seduce old ginger bollocks. After all, he said she lets you do anything you want, and when he was warned about her being somewhat nuts, he said, I know, but she's so hot. Undoubtedly, the little randy ginger bugger found a home in burying the old Harry Sausage, and she was more than content to avail, and of course, there have been numerous rumours surrounding her about such loose sexual activity, including the roasting the chicken episode. Thus, we have an individual that we know is hypersexualized that utilizes sex for the purpose of assertion of control and the drawing of fuel, gaining access to character traits and residual benefits, that has been dogged by rumors of engaging in the receipt of money for the provision of sexual favors as a yacht girl, and therefore might it follow that she could well have engaged in offering herself for money. Well, certainly this is something that a narcissist would well do, and it's worth pointing out that non-narcissists would engage in such behaviour as circumstances would dictate to them. But it is something that a narcissist may well engage in because they regard the provision of sex as a commodity and they see the payment for it as an entitlement. They regard themselves as particularly attractive and see nothing wrong with selling themselves in this way. Given that a narcissist may well engage in this behaviour, and the fact that this one's wife is a narcissist, does that mean that she has engaged in the behaviour of which she is now accused? Well, interestingly, where has this suggestion come from that she's been offering herself for money in relation to ice hockey players? Funnily enough, this, was, this allegation was contained in a video, which again some of you have brought to my attention, which just happens to have been created by the same channel that created the Letterman Roast video. This video, which I have watched, alleges that the former Canucks captain claims that this one's wife offered herself to Canucks players for money. The video reports Peter Holland, who was captain from 2019 to 2021, maintains that this one's wife was a puck bunny who offered herself to Canucks players for money when she was filming Suits in Toronto. Now, interestingly, Suits ended in 2019, which means that it would have been filmed prior to that. And the dates given by the creator of this video of 2019 to 2021 
don't really correspond to when the filming of Suits apparently took place. There could be a slight overlap, or it might be that whilst the individual was the captain of the relevant ice hockey team from 2019 to 2021, he was talking about a different time period. So we'll provide it with some latitude, but the dates did raise a degree of suspicion. The video goes on to claim that Holland claimed he had first-hand knowledge because he was one of the players who rejected her advances. He said, This one's wife hung out at the bars and hotels where the Canuck players stayed when they visited Toronto, and that she would flirt with them and offer to sleep with them for money. Holland said he was disgusted by her actions and felt sorry for Prince Harry, who was unaware of his wife's past. He therefore decided to expose this one's wife's secret after he saw her at the recent Canucks game. This video also claims that this one's wife and Prince Harry were booed and jeered by the crowd. Apparently, Holland said he wanted to warn Prince Harry and the public about this one's wife's true behaviour. The video provides no source whatsoever for these allegations, but simply states them. Furthermore, as we all know, this one's wife and Prince Harry appeared earlier this week in relation to the Canucks and Sharks game. It therefore follows that if Peter Holland made these allegations following their appearance, then undoubtedly the media would be reporting on these allegations themselves. Unsurprisingly, a search shows no newspapers whatsoever reporting on these supposed allegations. What has actually happened is that back in 2014, Peter Holland tweeted, at this one's wife, I'll pick you up at the airport if that will make your travel a little easier, and was seen as a chivalrous offer towards her. Thereafter, it was apparently the case that this one's wife was flirtatious towards Peter Holland while still being married to Trevor Engelson. And that when Peter Holland found out that she was married, he was not best pleased, and he therefore backed off, making a comment as such to her about her being married. Nothing was stated at the time with regard to her accepting payments for sex, and therefore it was all about her flirting when she was married, and at a much earlier time period. Once again, it appears that the creator of this video, the same as the one that created, the one that purportedly, that, that said that Letterman roasted this one's wife, has made up the information. That there is no evidence whatsoever that she offered herself for sex in relation to Canucks players. That there was no such attempt at an exposure by Peter Holland post the match earlier this week. Again, the content of this video may well be viewed as defamatory, and once again, by using a salacious suggestion, it plays into the hands of this one's wife with regard to her victimhood. Once again, she can point to something and say, this isn't true. Peter Holland will say, I never made these allegations. I never said anything post the Canucks and Sharks game. I've never said at any point that she's offered herself for money in relation to me or anybody else. This video is false. And therefore, his denial would also support her denial, and she would then utilise that as a pity play to demonstrate that once again there are all of these haters out there that are making things up about her. Once again, this video was sent to me by individuals who regarded it as containing effectively the gospel truth, that they took it at face value without having due regard to what was actually being stated and whether there was any credibility with it. Naturally, there are many things which are speculation about this one's wife. There are other aspects which are founded in fact, because we have seen the things that she's done and we've witnessed the things that she has said. But engaging in this practice of creating rumours such as this merely plays into her hands. It enables her to play the victim all the more. It enables her supporters to point to prejudicial conduct. And it is completely disingenuous. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.